Uh, I served Kibaki for five years as his advisor and I, earlier on I had served his government as a consultant. So most of the things that he did, particularly from the governance uh, point of view, I, I was involved. One of the things I remember is a humble uh, leader, a very, very um, interactive leader who would listen to your thoughts and then ask you one question. And, and now that you have told me that, what do we need to do? So he was a very, very solu uh, solution-oriented leader. Uh, and that is why I think he was so successful, because for him it was solu solutions. Uh, if there's one thing Kibaki never liked, in the end, he would, uh, he would always dismiss you with the cost, is uh, gossip, hearsay, and uh, fireside pratos. He didn't have time for that. Uh, and he would always ask, na wewe umekuja sapari yote kuniambia hivo? Sasa ulikuja, kuna ingine ulikuja kuniambia? Is there something else you came to tell me? Uh, and, and, and because that became famous, every one of us who went to him, uh, went to him with a very clear mind that this is what I'm going to tell him and this is the solution I'm requesting him to consider. That's all. Um, the other thing one would say about Kibaki as a person was his patience. He was not in a hurry uh, whenever you, you were with him. Uh, to, uh, apart from his patience, it, it, is, uh, it is when it came to reaching out to people he was a, a, an organizer. He would call, he would get people called, and bring people together. I remember how he assembled the team of advisors around him. Most of us were outside the country. We were all called, most of us were called back uh, by him because he respected professionalism. He, respect, he res, uh, respected the knowledge and ref, uh, based his reforms and transformation of this country on, on knowledge. I am saying this because you can contrast that with what he had be, well, there before and largely with the, what we might be going through uh, now, that uh, the, the knowledge is not as central as it was uh, during Kibaki's time. Um, and finally, I think we remember Mze Kibaki as our greatest reformer, our Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore. He moved us from negative to something we can take to the bank. And uh, we, most of uh, this generation owe Kibaki uh, a lot in terms of who we are. Thank you.